Good evening, folks. This is the old captain, the voice of WKORN, coming to you for a special Christmas edition from the captain's quarters. Just want to take a little tour around my room. A lot of things, a lot of gifts, a lot of uh, memories here. Um, pictures on the wall, um, degrees on the wall. Very th things that are important to me. Gifts that have been given to me through the years. Family pictures. A little um, figurine of a little buddy of mine. Rock from uh, the Hudson River. A lampshade that's made from a Vietnamese hat. A little slogan that I, I try to live by. Never, never give up. Regardless of the situation, you need to finish what you start. Another gift I have is... Um, a good foundation. The Lord gave me um, plenty of um, structure there, there at the bottom. Not everybody can put their shoes across the garbage can and be hanging over on both sides. Another gift up here from Rick Walker in New York, Waffle House cap. Very proud of that. The back scratcher from the Rod Man. Pictures of memories of Philadelphia and Really, throughout my life, Austin uh, Team Championship I was privileged to write a little poem. They actually put it in the in the uh, program that year. Got some old reels. Got a little saying that I think's thinks important. Got some dear friends. You you've seen them before. Um, Big Bird, Cool Dad, and myself. You just can't have too many friends, and those are two of the best. Another gift that I've been given is a wonderful wife. She gave me this sign. It says, a fisherman lives here with the best catch of his life. And Well, there's no doubt about that. She's a keeper. She's a wonderful lady. Been married 37 years. Um, got a little chest here with some favorite reading material. You know, we all have a, a lot of friends and acquaintances, and I have a, a dear, dear friend that Spends a lot of time with me. He's even got a little box here in the room, and he comes in and he just kind of, kind of hangs out. Sometimes he chews up stuff, and but he's my buddy. He um, he loves you regardless of what you say to him or how you act. He he comes back, and loves you to death. But you got just different things. This picture was painted for me. It's a watercolor painted from a um photograph of me fishing aboard my little boat, the Alva D on Dog River back in the day. Wonderful chair that I'm very proud of. Ramona's parents gave it to me. Captain's wheel that was given to me by Josh Keeley, a dear friend of mine. A little figurine of a father and daughter that Lauren gave me. Another picture that was painted by Robert Albro, a friend of mine. He painted that years ago, gave it to me. Just all around the room, there's different artifacts, different memories. There's a piece of wood that my mentor, almost like a father to me, Charlie Goff, he caught that piece of wood in Dog River one day, and I kept it, and it's been a part of my collection through the years. Just just different things everywhere you look. Old rod and rails, walking sticks, old clock in the corner to kind of keep you straight and tell you what time it is. All around the room there's some special things, but but you know this is Christmas and we're supposed to talk about gifts at Christmas. We're supposed to talk about family and things that we love. But um, I want to talk to you tonight on a serious note. And I want to talk to you about the greatest gift of all. A lot of people talk about the Christmas holidays, and certainly they are holidays, but around here, in this room, and in my world, when we talk about Christmas, we talk about the birth of Christ, the birth of Jesus. John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth on him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Christmas is the story of Jesus. It's the birth of Jesus, our Savior. I've been blessed with many, many things, and it's nothing that I've deserved. It's nothing that I really own. The Lord's just given me 
so many opportunities to, to hopefully show his kindness to the people that I come in contact with. I want to read you a little bit tonight from the book of Luke, beginning with verse 2. It's the Christmas story. Verse 2, beginning with verse 1, it says, And it came to pass in those days that a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed or registered. The census first took place while Quirinius was governing Syria. So all went to be registered, everyone to his own city. Joseph also went up from Galilee out of the city of Nazareth unto Judea to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be registered with Mary, his betrothed wife, who was with child. So it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished or completed for her to be delivered. She brought forth her, brought forth her firstborn son, wrapped him in swaddling clothes, and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. Now there were in the same country shepherds living out in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. And behold, an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were greatly afraid. Then the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For there is born to you this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. And this will be a sign to you, you will find a babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. Suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and peace on earth, good will toward men. So it was, when the angels had gone away from them into heaven, that the shepherds said to one another, Let us now go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has come to pass, which the Lord has made known to us. And they came with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger. Now when they had seen him, they made widely known the saying which was told them concerning this child. And all who heard it marveled at the things which were told them by the shepherds. But Mary kept all these things and pondered them in her heart. Then the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had seen and heard as it had been told to them. Folks, that's the story of Christmas, the story of the birth of Jesus. God sent his son so that we did not have to be separated from him. He died so that we could be forgiven of our sins and so that we could spend eternity in heaven. What a gift. That is the gift. That is the story of Christmas. Have I been blessed? Wow. I thought you'd never ask. I've been blessed so much. It's, it's just unbelievable. One of the things that's in my room that I didn't mention is a baby bed. It's right here. Now, nobody in swaddling clothes lies in that bed, but I got a little grandson that when he visits, Gage Frog Brown's his name, he sleeps in that bed. Many of you know what a miracle that he was and that he is. But folks, far more important is the miracle of Jesus and what he did for us at the cross. Folks, I'd like for y'all to think about this. I'd like for you to reflect maybe on your life, on the gifts that you've been given. And when you get a chance, you come see us and in the meantime, you have a merry, not a happy holiday, but have a merry, merry Christmas. Merry Christmas from the old captain. God bless.